here in Brazil, and I believe it's your first time doing an interview for Brazilians, but it seems that many Christians are sadly somewhat suspicious of spending time in fiction, in reading fiction, in dwelling in imaginary worlds. And could you perhaps give a word of encouragement or towards helping Christians in general over here to, to dwell more deeply into fiction? Well, you know, um, one of the things, one of the great privileges of being human is that we can exist as a community and in deep conversation with one another, you know. Um, you read a certain a book that's written from a perspective that is not yours, and you become somewhat articulate in another kind of thinking than you would have been before, you know. Um, sometimes I think of the, the world as just having a great nimbus of human, uh, you know, conversation, human thought around it, you know, that all of us participate in or avoid and, and so on. Uh, but it's as, when it's as human as anything we do. Um, you know, um, I I know that people are afraid of, you know, influences that might make, might dis disturb them, might disturb them, their thinking and so on. Um, and, you know, they have to be the judge of what, what they choose to take on. Um, but in general, I think it's a, a very good thing to, to embrace the fact of being human um, at the level of thought and imagination and music and poetry and all the rest. I, I think that's one of the blessings of our existence and not to be slighted. I deeply agree. And it seems that by reading fiction, we are able to dwell in other people's shoes and experience greater enhanced empathy towards the, the whole range of mankind, which is truly wonderful in God's sight. Yes.